today. We climbed near 40. We were at 39 for our official high here in Omaha. We'll drop back to around 34 at 9 o'clock tonight. And with some of that melting, that puts some moisture on the ground. And I think that we may actually see some fog develop overnight because of that, along with some very light winds. Uh, here's our radar picture for this evening. Dry conditions all across eastern Nebraska, western Iowa, northwest Missouri. Just a few high-level cirrus clouds starting to stream in from the west. Other than that, though, no major storm systems affecting the area at this time. Dry conditions really all across the central plains and stay that way right on through the overnight hours. Here are some temperatures from our, uh, across our viewing area. We're still at 38 in Omaha, some low 30s now through western Iowa. It was cooler there today. Uh, back to the west, though, some locations climbing well into the 40s this afternoon. Back down to 40 now for Norfolk, 37 Columbus, and 40 coming in at Beatrice. So take this picture out a little farther, and there were some very warm temperatures today. Back to the west. Again, the snowpack on the ground kind of limits how much we can warm up here in the metro until we warm that off, uh, melt that off. But back to the west, in snow free areas like Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, 63 degrees there. They hit 70 for a high today. It was 75 in Goodland, Kansas earlier today, now cooling down to 58. So there's a really warm air mass to our west that will move overhead tomorrow. So we will see warmer temperatures, but again, because of that snowpack, not as warm as we could be. 38 degrees at Epley. Winds are out of the south at 10 miles per hour. Spoke with our weather watcher in Little Sioux, Iowa. 35 the high there for Jim Purley. Still a lot of snow on the ground, though. Here's your hourly planer for tonight. Temperatures slowly fall here through the next couple of hours. Fog develops, though, as we head through tomorrow morning. Here's a storm predictor. Just a very light south wind tonight as temperatures slowly drop. Could see some of that fog through tomorrow morning. It should lift, and with more sunshine, we see mild temperatures for tomorrow. Another round of fog coming up for. Saturday night into early Sunday. That could hang a little bit longer. Also, a couple showers possible Sunday early in the morning as we see a cold front drop into the area. For this evening, though, 34 degrees at 9 o'clock. Fog will develop across the area overnight. Fog still sticking around around 32 degrees for the low temperature. So here's your forecast through the rest of the weekend. Even with the cool front moving in on Sunday, temperatures still pretty mild. 45 for the high, although I don't think we'll see a lot of sun on Sunday afternoon. That chance for a few showers in the morning. Cool on Monday.